vegetarians live longer is a popular refrain on social media. This video takes a look at how a low carbohydrate, high meat diet affects the aspects of aging people tend to care the most about. We'll look at strength, brain function, and most importantly, longevity. For links to the studies, check the description box below. Strength. The risk of dying increases by about 31% if your grip strength is low. The weaker you get, the more likely you are to fall and break something in the shower. And as an older person who falls and breaks something when weak, it's very difficult to recover. You're much more likely to die within the next couple of years. Likewise, the risk of getting dementia increased by about 72% if your grip strength is low. It's arguable weakness doesn't actually cause these problems. It might be that strength just shows whether you've been active. Exercise is very important to long living. For example, people who don't move much are about four times more likely to die from virtually anything than people who exercise a lot. That's a 300% increase. If you want to live long and well, exercise. But regardless of whether strength can reduce our likelihood of dying, we want to be strong for life quality reasons. We want to look good. We want to be able to take care of ourselves as we age. We want to be able to keep up with the grandkids. And we want to be able to smash the pickleball. As we age, we have a harder time with strength. It becomes more and more difficult for our bodies to convert the protein that we eat into usable proteins in our body like muscle. That's why doctors recommend a very high protein diet as we age. A meat-heavy diet contains virtually the maximum possible amount of protein. It's also a more usable form of protein than you would get from plants. Meat provides complete protein. That means meat contains all the essential amino acids necessary to use protein in our own bodies. As is probably no surprise, people who advocate for heavy meat diets are often in outstanding physical shape. An example would be Dr. Sean Baker. He wrote the book that coined the phrase carnivore diet. He's been on an all-meat diet for more than five years now. He's 56 and self-reportedly still gaining in strength. In fact, he's been breaking world records for natural strength. Mental function. One of the main points of a keto or carnivore diet is to promote the body's production of ketones. Recent research indicates that ketones can bring about nearly miraculous improvements in mental function. A 2022 peer-reviewed article summarized some of these important benefits. This channel, Deusai, highly recommends reading that article if you're interested in the subject. It shows that a ketogenic diet helped reverse the symptoms of mild cognitive issues as well as Alzheimer's. That's unheard of. Most doctors would say it's impossible to roll back those kinds of symptoms. Medical interventions can only help to manage Alzheimer's. Incredible, but these miraculous happenings only lasted while the people remained on their ketogenic diets. Longevity How keto and carnivore impact longevity is highly debatable, but we'll give you the most important details. The highest levels of science say that this is not the kind of science that's very reliable. You can watch a video about this by clicking the link above. It'll teach you how to spot this kind of unreliable science. Doctors cite this kind of research all the time, as if those studies prove their point with absolute certainty. Virtually every longevity guru does this, but they shouldn't. This unreliability is probably the nutritional community's best-kept secret. It's also why so many doctors disagree about what you should eat. Several recent studies say that if you eat a keto or carnivore diet, it increases your risk of death by at least a small amount. That's probably especially scary because you've heard your entire life that meat is unhealthy and plants are healthy. For example, you've probably heard of blue zones. These are the areas in the world where people live the longest. Okinawa, Japan is usually considered a prime example of a blue zone in Asia. Supposedly, Okinawans eat very little meat and live long, but Okinawans actually eat more meat than the average Japanese. The very first commonality pointed out in this study is that the people who reached 100 ate more animal proteins, and the longest lived region in the entire world since about 2010 has been Hong Kong. They eat a lot of meat there. According to 2023 UN agency data, Hong Kong and Macau eat the most meat in Asia, and in fact, in the entire world, arguably. They're also the longest lived in Asia and arguably the entire world. I say arguably because Monaco is actually the longest lived in the world, but it's a city of only about 40,000 people, and we don't even find any meat consumption data. Perhaps the most famous blue zone in the West is the Seventh-day Adventist Church in California. The Adventists are headquartered in California and strongly promote healthy living and vegetarian eating. Adventists there do live a long time compared to the average American. A 2001 study showed that Adventist men were living to about 81 and women to about 84. 
but there's good reason to believe that their long lives were because of other aspects of their healthy lifestyle, not because of their vegetarian or vegan diet. For example, their church strongly promotes exercise. As we already mentioned, exercise reduces your risk of all kinds of death fourfold. A population that exercises should have a greatly reduced risk of death, even if they're eating poorly. A 2008 study of California's Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints followed up on the Adventist study. This is another tightly knit religious group that promotes healthy living. The study showed that practicing members of this group lived three years longer than even the Adventists in the 2001 study, and they eat meat. A world meat consumption study also contradicted the Blue Zone publications. In 2022, researchers noticed a trend towards criticizing the kind of research that indicates we shouldn't be eating much meat. So these researchers looked at UN meat consumption data for 175 regions across the entire world. This improved data gathering. They just took the amount of meat that a region consumed and then divided by the number of people who lived there to get a per capita amount. Most other studies relied upon people remembering how much meat that they would eat on average, which is very unreliable. The 2022 study was also better than previous ones because it incorporated virtually the entire world. That means it did away with errors based upon smaller sample sizes. And these researchers found that the more meat people ate, the longer they lived. This was true even after the researchers controlled for things like access to health care, wealth, and access to food. We don't really know how meat consumption affects aging, but there's good reason to think that it actually makes you healthier and longer lived.